residents of the Far East appreciated the benefits of a compact Hyundai Porter much earlier than everyone else, and here's why. In South Korea, a model with a carrying capacity of 950 kilograms began to be produced in the spring of 1996, and after a while, used cars began to appear in the east of our country. Mass porters came to other regions of Russia a little later in 2005. Then the tag is planned and the Rostov region began assembling this generation. The latest releases of trucks are dated 2012. Depending on the mileage and condition, you can buy such a car at a price of 200 to 450,000 rubles. At the same time, the choice of version is not limited to the onboard platform. There are frame vans, refrigerated vans, and even dump trucks for sale. The main advantage is the dimensions of the baby. The wheelbase is 2.4 meters and the turning circle is 4.7 meters, which allows you to drive even through the most crowded streets. In this case, the length of the cargo compartment is mandatory 3 meters. For Muscovites, there is a separate bonus, the advantage of entering within the third transport ring. By the way, if the car has to spin along the streets of a large city, it is better to immediately look for alternative regular mirrors that are unacceptably small and the second number to check which tires are on a particular car should be only commercial with the corresponding load capacity index. By the way, the tires here are 14 inches with a dimension of 185 by 65 hence the temptation to put cheaper tires from cars, but you need to understand that passenger tires are simply not suitable for such loads. It is clear that the most recent partner is now more than seven years old for commercial vehicles. This is a long time, but it is nevertheless realistic to buy a well-preserved Hyundai. Such cars were often bought not for distribution, but for household needs, that is, a wealthy summer resident could well acquire Porter, another category of former owners of rental offices there, cars also roll relatively modest runs. In general, it is better to select a suitable copy not by mileage, but by condition because the porter proved to be tenacious and trouble-free. In repair, this representative of the Korean auto industry is also not expensive, and quite fisted owners manage to service the car using spare parts from Russian cars. So the main criterion is a well-preserved frame with no signs of an accident or restoration, and spare parts are really cheap, so the windshield costs two and a half thousand rubles, the headlight is really not original, it's one and a half thousand, the brake pads are 700 rubles front and one and a half thousand rear, but how do you like the turbine for 15,000, and only the front bumper, which often suffers in the urban hustle and bustle, cannot be bought for less than 6,000, however. The desire to buy a porter may disappear right during the inspection of the car. Unfortunately, the model has extremely peculiar ergonomics, so that a large driver has every chance of not being corny in the cab. Here are some facts for you. The fact is that the first steering wheel and seats are not aligned. The fact that the second driver's seat is so shifted to the left that the distance between the steering wheel rim and the door is no more than 10 centimeters. By the way, according to the passport, the cabin is considered a three-seater, but in fact, only two places for luggage can be arranged here, except for a tiny glove compartment, there is actually no such thing, so you will have to carry any bulky things in the passenger seat. Continues the list of disadvantages of fastening the battery and spare wheel. They are not protected in any way and are ready to become easy prey for thieves, and if a porter is bought for everyday trips, it is important to evaluate the stiffness of the suspension because all the flaws in the roadway are reflected on the driver's back because he sits here right above the front wheel. Another feature of the model in filling the configuration so the tachometer was the privileges of the top version, however, even without it, you can understand at what speed the engine is running because the engine is located directly under the cab, ideally it is desirable to find the maximum configuration with the tachometer, air conditioning and other benefits of civilization. It was just such that private traders chose as for the weak points of the cabin, the flimsy door handles both inside and out should be noted as the first point. Be prepared that they will break regularly. Next on the list is a delicate windshield so delicate that it is almost impossible to meet a porter without cracks on the windshield, but these are trifles, but the low corrosion resistance of the cable module is a serious matter. The cabin for rust will have to be inspected very, very meticulously, the first stage of the door. Also, do not be too lazy to assess the condition of the oil pan, because in 8 to 9 years it rots through and starts leaking oil, but surprisingly there are almost no complaints about the frame, in any case porters broken in half so far did not meet. But the chassis number is knocked out extremely unsuccessfully. It is located exactly opposite the rear right wheel and all the dirt flies here. 
Naturally, all characters of the number must be readable, otherwise serious problems will arise during registration. It is better to double-check the number itself. There have been cases when a person bought a designer. That is, a car assembled from several. Engine. Under the cabin of the porter is a turbo diesel of the D4BF series with a volume of 2.5 liters. It produces only 80 horsepower and 166 newton meters of torque, which, however, is enough for a truck with a gross weight of 2,600 kilograms. This motor has Japanese roots, the closest relatives of the Korean 8 valve to is the well-deserved Mitsubishi 4D56 unit. The latter was installed on the second generation Pajero, where it earned the fame of not being killed. This motor does not care what to eat Porter surprisingly well digests our diesel fuel. The main thing is that there was no water in it. Well, completely counterfeit diesel fuel at 20 rubles per liter or heating oil is also not necessary at all. Engine aging occurs according to the following scenario. A high pressure fuel pump with a good combination of circumstances, is able to withstand up to 200,000 kilometers, that is, even longer than a booster pump, and moreover, it is necessary to change the high-pressure fuel pump in the rarest cases, since it can be successfully repaired. The turbine lives the same 200,000 kilometers and is also successfully repaired. A mileage of 150,000 kilometers usually becomes especially costly for the owner, just then the fuel injectors begin to play pranks. In our latitudes, due to economy, it is customary to change or restore only those that are out of order, but for good it is necessary to update the entire set. Yes, it's not cheap, but there have been precedents when a faulty nozzle began to pour so much fuel that it ended in a water hammer. Otherwise, in addition to changing the oil and filter every 8 to 10,000 kilometers, maintenance is limited to checking the front crankshaft oil seal. The latter is hidden under the front cover of the timing mechanism so that at first oil leakage is easy to miss and it is extremely dangerous. The oil gets on the belt of the balancing shafts, which softens over time and then bursts, after which the remains of the belt fall under the timing belt and then the worst happens. The timing belt also breaks, after which the pistons and valves collide. Accordingly, the engine is sent for overhaul, the cost of which depends on the severity of the consequences. Therefore, Along with changing the timing belts and balancing mechanisms, as well as both timing rollers, do not be too lazy to remove the crankshaft pulley and update the corresponding oil seal, you can do it yourself on the internet there are detailed video tutorials. And according to the regulations, you need to change the belts every 60,000 kilometers, but we recommend moving this point 5,000 kilometers earlier, such worries will certainly pay off in good hands Korean diesel engines and go 400 to 500,000 kilometers without major repairs. By the way, to get to the motor, it is enough to lift the passenger seat. In cars imported from Korea, the engine produces not 80, but all 110 horsepower. In addition, a simple mechanical injection pump is installed in the power system of thoroughbred Koreans. Transmission. All porters, regardless of origin, are exclusively equipped with a 5-speed manual transmission. It is indicatively durable, unless, of course, seals fail through which oil can escape. In addition, you must not forget to regularly change the lubricant, preferably after 60,000 kilometers. In the rear axle, the transmission is updated even more often after 40,000, but the drive shaft cross is maintenance-free. Clutch durability is directly dependent on the driver and loads. There are many examples when the native node nursed 200 to 250,000 kilometers. By the way, when the time comes for revision, it is better to change not only the disc, but also the basket with the release bearing. A knock from the rear does not always mean that the wheel bearing is broken. The backlash of the rear axle axle shafts betrays itself with exactly the same acoustic accompaniment. However, there are aluminum washers on the hub flange that allow you to remove these gaps by selecting the right size of these washers. The gap between the drive shaft of the rear axle gearbox is also removed by selecting the appropriate washers. If this is not done at the start, a ring and clang will be heard, and now let's move on to the rear suspension with springs. But keep in mind the elastic element is sized neatly for a ton of cargo. If you load a little more the springs will break. There are many recipes on the network on how to increase the carrying capacity of the machine, but we do not recommend doing this but replacing sheets other than the root one with multi-sheet gazelles can cost at least half the price. The truth needs a little tweaking. Independent front suspension on normal roads hold perfectly, but he does not like bad roads and constant overload. The front suspension of the parterre is torsion bar by adjusting the torsion bars, 
you can change the stiffness of the chassis and ground clearance, the main thing is not to overdo it. Over-tightened torsion bars are a threat to their fastening, which can pull out. Another variant of the development of events is torn shock absorbers, both options, to put it mildly, are not the best. Initially, the lower front suspension arms were supplied only as a whole, that is, if the ball bearings or the silent block failed, they had to buy a new arm, those who pressed the non-original arm, fixing it by welding, later regretted it. After that, the lever usually burst, now all parts are sold separately, and the upper lever was completely detailed in parts initially. A huge amount of suspension parts for a partner is offered today, as they say, for every taste and budget. But when choosing ball joints, it is better to focus on those with standard grease fittings for injection. In general, on the forums of the owners, it has long been discussed which brands of spare parts are preferable, for example, some of the original positions come from the Hyundai Galloper SUV, which in turn is a replica of the first-generation Mitsubishi Pajero. Brakes The Koreans did not save on the brakes, so you should not expect any unpleasant surprises in front of there are quite solid ventilated discs with a diameter of 14 inches. At the back, simple but sufficiently productive drum-type mechanisms, although the condition of the rear pads cannot be brought to a critical level, this does not like the mechanisms themselves, not the working cylinder. Steering. The steering gear is equipped with a rack, common for passenger cars, and anthers must be intact, and the gearbox without traces of oil. However, even the current river can be restored for quite ridiculous money. Usually a leak appears at the junction of the rack and steering shaft. You can solve the problem by replacing the oil seal, or by buying a repair kit it costs about 500 rubles, you can do the work yourself, which will take about 2 hours. In general, the Hyundai Porter is so simple that most of the repair and maintenance operations can be done by hand, and only the electrician is really the weak point of the Porter. Unfortunately, the manufacturer frankly saved on wires and connectors, the latter crumble in just five years. Ideally, after the purchase, it is better to conduct a thorough audit by updating those electrical wiring elements that cause the most doubt. The fuse mounting block deserves special attention, there can also be problems with it, there is a great chance for example, in the rain to be left without wipers, and tail lights that do not work are found on almost every second car. Many of these shortcomings were eliminated on the next generation Porter, only in Russia such cars, unfortunately, were no longer busy. Hunting for well-preserved trucks of the first generation, 